All right, so we have this little application. It's right now it's staged and it fetches employees. You can notice all the employee names start with an S. Um, this application is over here and it's based on a REST service. We can access the REST service here and we can see the server it's connecting to. Now, this is the server that the REST service is running on in our development instance. Uh, however, when we are running in production, we want to use a different REST service or a different server to serve those. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the other server is over here. And by the way, one thing to note, if I access the URL for the other server here without authentication, I would get forbidden. This server specifically requires me to use authentication in order to get the data. So if I do that, I would actually get the data about the employees. So let's copy this URL and go back into our application and add a new server. Okay. We'll paste the URL to the server without the endpoint. Okay. And we can call this one our prod server. Okay. Um, and again, you can define here headers, you can define how you connect to the server, and you can also define the security mode that you're using. In our case, as we said, this is going to be a basic authentication. Like that. So now we have another server, we're calling it the production server. Now, the next thing that you would want to do is indicate when to use which one of the servers. And this is something you're doing through our application settings and the application profile. We already have one profile that is called dev. And in the server connection here, you can see that we're accessing the dev service. What we can do now is duplicate this configuration. We'll call the new one the QA configuration. And in the QA configuration, we're going to switch to use a different server, the production server. So again, if you click over here, you would see the details about the server we just put in here for this deployment or application profile. All right, so now we have two profiles, each one with a different name, dev and QA. We're going to push the changes into our master branch. And we'll go back to our Visual Builder Studio project. And you can see that we started the job of packaging the application, which would lead to a job of deploying the application. And this is because we have a pipeline here that starts with the application package and then goes to the application deploy. Now, if we look at the configuration of the application deploy step, You can see over here that I'm including the application version, okay? And I'm specifying that I'm using the dev profile. So remember we had two profiles, dev and QA. In this case, we are using the dev, which means it's going to access this other service or other server uh, that currently returns all the assets. So let's wait for this to finish up. It finished, we can look at the log file pick up the URL of the deployed application over here. And access this application. We can also do an inspect here just to show you that in the network we are accessing one of the servers, which is the VBPM TM. Okay, and everything here is with an S. Now, we had another build job that we haven't run yet, which is called the deploy with QA's profile. So let me run this, and while it's running, I'm gonna show you the configuration for this um, job. Okay, so basically it deploys to the same instance, but this time we're using the QA deployment. Also, this time we're not deploying with the version number, so we're actually publishing the application. 
So the important thing is that here we're using the QA, which means we're going to use another server for our backend. So this just finished now. Let's look at the URL for this app. And we'll paste it over here. And you can see it's basically it's the same application, but this time the data here has different names for all the employees. If we do the inspect here and we look at our network traffic, we'll see that the calls to employees this time goes over to a different server over here and gets it from there based on our profile. So this is how profiles can help you switch which server you're accessing for each deployment of your application.